Commentation is really an engine of social change. And all of us are the starter cultures. My buddy Eric and I are going to a fermenting festival here in Austin, Texas. We're just walking up to the grounds right now. It looks pretty cool. Welcome to the Fermentation Festival. Such a pleasure to be here and um, see so many people so excited about fermentation. Pretty good. So this is our heirloom. Um, it's our fall limited release. So this is going to be three different heirloom varietals that are genetically identical to the ones that arrived here in the 1650s. Well, that's nice. Thanks. That's nice. That's very good. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, they're pretty flowers. This is the fourth fermentation deal they have, fourth annual, and it is pretty hopping. There's a lot of people here. Please join me in welcoming Kirsten Shockey. Oh, thank you. I even heard a woo. Seeds, seeds, seeds are 
guilty by association. It's the membrane, right? So if you want your full heat, go ahead, keep everybody in. I'm going to keep everybody in because I'm going to avoid touching the pepper as much as I possibly can. You're going to feel your garlic. You don't really need to smash it or anything like that. So feel it and then put it in the bottom. Onion, jalapeno, Persian cucumber. I don't know how these vendors do it. It is crowded, but that's good for them because they're getting lots of attention on their booths. It is hopping out here. It is extremely full and energetic. The people here seem to be. And there's Mr. Katz over there. Where? Thank you so much. All right. Mr. Katz, how are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> we bumped into Sandor Katz in the vendor mart. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just I, I'm just back from Mexico yesterday. I love so available all the time. It's just like there's no necessity for it the way there is in a temperate place where you have a long period of vegetables. The rock star of the show, Sandor Katz, is mingling with the crowds, talking with people, taking selfies. Check my Instagram, it's already on there. I got to take a selfie with him and a few others. It is just a really fun experience out here fermenting San, I mean not San Antonio, Austin, Texas. It's a, I would say I'm surprised, like I am kind of surprised that the, the activity level is so high, but why not? This is a good, um, a good place to be and a nice subject, lots of healthy things to learn here. And the energy is just really, really good. And have you fermented before? Yes. I've, I've fermented a little bit. Some sauerkraut, kombucha, and I have a sign. So the thing about kimchi, right, it's, it's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, it's just a way for us to preserve food. Like during the fall, winter, when you get this huge harvest of of cabbage, uh, you want to ferment that in, so that you have it for the rest of the year. I was a little late to the person. kimchi booth, so I don't think I'm going to get a good seat. This is my Korean I'll have to check that out later. Cider with chicken. Lines are just part of the game out here today. It's a good crowd. You got it. Woo. There you go. Thank you. Throughout history, their vinegar probably tasted a lot better than the vinegar that we have today. Some fresh vinegar stock, and it'll, it'll activate a new uh, sideways, because I just threw them in there this morning. Um, it's the bacteria, the Acetobacter. It's really not much. Yeah. That's what it looks like here. And then so when our Oh, we have some right here. Oh. 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 I know. In December release, this is a round rock honey reserve. So we're actually aging honey for three months inside bourbon barrels. They have done a great job at this event, keeping things orderly. People can move around to the different events, different uh, shows, different talks. The crowd is moving, the crowd is active, the, the energy is high, the vendors seem to be doing well. I needed to take a break, so I'm over here on the edge and I see behind me this butterfly garden. I figured my buddy Drake White would probably like to see that, so I'm gonna take a few close-up shots.
Now the final show, the final event is Sandor Katz doing his talk. He's the keynote speaker and I want to try to get in there and get a seat before they're all taken. It was cool bumping into him earlier in the tent, being able to say hello, shake his hand, get a selfie, and uh, now we get to hear him speak. He's a self-taught experimentalist who lives in rural Tennessee. The New York Times called him one of the unlikely rock stars of the American food scene. Uh, Sandor is the recipient of a James Beard Award and other honors. So let's just keep that applause rolling because let's welcome Sandor. The U.S. Department of Agriculture cannot find one single case of food poisoning or illness from fermented vegetables, not only in the U.S., but you know anywhere in the world that they're that they're sharing data with. So you know, sauerkraut is about as safe as it gets with food. If your jar of sauerkraut makes somebody sick, well, you know, this will be an unprecedented historical event. <laughs> Other practical benefits would include preservation, improved digestibility, um, uh, improved bioavailability of nutrients, um, um, uh, improved flavor. You know, fermentation creates exciting flavors. Sandor Katz was amazing. That was a good talk. I will have most of the video on my Patreon account. It was a little long for this video, but we're going to get uh, the entire thing. As much as I recorded, there were a few moments I lost on the Patreon account. And exciting news, for this second time ever in my life, somebody recognized me by my hat maybe and came over and said hello. Things are winding down. The, the festival is basically over because that was the keynote speaker. He's done, but there's still a lot of people just hanging out and chatting and uh, participating in just the, the interesting vibe I guess that that uh, this place offers because this subject is uh, it's one about uh, its culture I mean it's fermented culture and it's culture of people and it's just fun to all be together and enjoy this subject and uh, now I gotta find my way out of here that was a lot of video and a lot of activity and I was kind of all over the place this facility and this event was a lot of fun thank you for joining me for uh, just this moment where we get to experience some of the local food, some of the local culture here in Austin, Texas. I appreciate you hanging out with me every time I do a video. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and family because there is no greater gift to a video creator than to share their video. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon. So thank you.